Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be planning the week of November 15th to the 21st. I'll be using a kit from Scroll Prince Co, which was the 2020, oh gosh, October 2020's mystery kit. Um, so yeah, um, I actually, if you notice, I didn't even bother to cut down the bottom washi because I messed up. I was going to use the bow one on the top and then use the confetti one at the bottom. But I switched it and I was like, oh snap. And I did not feel like taking out undo and soaking it up and wasting a lot of undo. So I just layered it on top and made it work. Um, so yeah, I really like how it looks. So I don't really mind at this point, um, but I didn't even bother to cut it as, as well. So I just layered it on top. I was like, who cares <laughs> um, at this point? So here I'm just putting down all the glitter headers and then I was like, oh wait, I gotta put down my full boxes because um, yeah, sometimes I, even though I like line them up at the top of the line, like sometimes I'm like a little off. So yeah, I decide to um, pretty much condense my sheets as well. Um, so yeah, and put down all the full boxes. I did put down like the labels to mark out my videos, but I actually did not publish my weekly plan with me on Monday. I actually published it on that Friday. Um, so I asked you, asked on my Instagram if you guys still wanted to see it and uh, majority said yes um, so yeah I did publish it and yeah I just really need to work on my time management like I don't know what just happened it's I, I think it's because I'm no longer in school and like that time management is like out of the door um, if that makes sense um, so yeah like when I was in school like it was every what like, other than like vacation or like um, not like summer break or something like that like like I was able to manage myself like but now it's just like I only have work and studying and it doesn't feel like I have to do this every day if that makes sense I don't know um, it's just like very like confusing because I've been going to school every day um, I never even took a gap year or anything so so straightforward <laughs> um, and now that I have a full-time job I'm like what am I doing? Um, so yeah, that's just like the very confusing part that I need to slowly transition to. And sorry, that was my slippers. Um, oh my goodness. I try to fix myself onto the chair um, or get comfortable. But yeah, I'm just like in this dilemma. Like how did, you, like if you guys have any tips or tricks, like how did you transition from school? Like after you graduated school, like you no longer need school, um, even though you have some learning courses. But other than that, how did you transition from like school to a full-time job like how do you do that like i'm just like what in the world um is this, all of this so yeah i really need to work on my time management because i feel like in classes like or in school the classes are scheduled so you have to attend those classes but for this one like now that i'm in a full-time job like i know i have to attend work um <laughs> if that makes sense but i just it's just i don't know I, I, I don't know like I'm in this like uh, dilemma at this point but it's okay I'm making it work and I am going to make it work <laughs> um so yeah it's just like very confusing at this point um but I'm slowly like transitioning into like getting more comfortable like the idea that I have to attend this every day like not that I don't attend this every day <laughs> um but like my mind has to just focus on work instead of doing other like things if that makes sense um so yeah um but pretty much um yeah that was my whole dilemma with time management but um anyway so i'm going to go day by day now um so yeah um i also should mention that all the black friday orders have shipped out um as of november 30th so yeah um I'm very proud of myself that I was able to like do it but yeah um, I was going to ship them out Monday but um, I had like a few more orders that came in and I was like I'd rather just ship those out all together and I don't really like having open orders as much because like for me for example like I don't I don't want to wait for my package like if you can package this right away I would package this right away so yeah um, I did package all the orders um, even up to today um, or like December 1st um, can you believe we're on the last month of the year like that's quite insane and it's just like meaning that I am just becoming much more older um, because oh my goodness I'm turning 24 next year and oh 
sorry, I'm like going into like these different tangents, um, but pretty much um, I saw one of the Instagram or Instagram posts from Caress Press. Um, she posted about her Lunar New Year kit. Um, I really like the art, although I don't really like the fashion girl, but that's okay. Um, there's extra boxes, but um, I'm very excited because it's the year of the tiger um, and it's my golden birthday. So I'm turning 24 on the 24th and it's two times the tiger. So yeah, I'm very excited. Um, but my mom's like, oh, ty being in your um, like zodiac sign doesn't mean like a good thing. Um, it's actually meaning like, oh, there might be things that happens, um, but you can't control it, obviously. Nothing you can control. Um, but regardless, um, but since I'm also turning 24 um, on, my, on the 24th, um, it's also a very good year um, in a way. So I don't know, like they cancel each other out. So hopefully I do have a great year, but I feel like I did have a great year this year um, because I graduated and um, I was not expecting it, but I found a full-time job. Um, in one of the big four um, accounting firms. So yeah, I'm very like, wow, I did this. Um, I freaking did this. Um, so I always doubt myself and for like bad stuff. And yeah, it's just like, uh, I don't know. So <laughs> anyway, um, now I should just get into the day by day because I'm just gonna get on into this mushy stuff and I don't really want to have those feelings at the moment. Um, so yeah, um, so for Monday, I actually I marked out all my work hours um, and then I had a meeting um, that I used a once more of love um, meaning munchkin um, I really like this I did get a bunch of sheets especially during her anniversary sale um, I was going to shop the Black Friday but I already shopped the anniversary sale the week prior so I was like mm, I don't really want to shop again um, so I actually did very good um, on Black Friday so I only did damage um, at Squirrel Prince Co so yeah that was the only thing. Um, oh my goodness, sorry. I just went into another tangent, but um, yeah. Uh, what else? Oh, so yeah, I ordered like, I think 10 sheets of these um, during her anniversary sale. So I like to mark it out because I don't have meetings like every day consistently. Um, like I only mark it out when I have like major meetings, which is usually my weekly meeting with the team and then the other weekly meeting with another team but it was it's within the same team I don't know it's very confusing but yeah there's just like a lot of things that my seniors in second year tells me um so yeah I'm pretty much learning like new things every day but um yeah there there's more work for them to do so it's very hard for them to teach me as well because they have a lot of things to do other than teach me <laughs> if that makes sense So, yeah, um, but for, actually, continuing on for Monday, I had a USPS pickup, and I was printing and cutting stickers, um, and I shipped out majority of the orders, or whatever I could ship out um, on Monday, so, yeah, and then I believe, yeah, those actually got delivered already, so I'm very happy with USPS right now, because, you know, they're on their game with the Black Friday, uh, with the orders um, shipping out on time, or delivering on time and then I packed more orders and then the other half of the coils arrived so I only had a portion of it and then I listed those and then the final like the rest of the coils did arrive and then I had some planning time and then um oh gosh totally lost my train of thought <laughs> I'm sorry uh, and then for Tuesday I had to set up a new printer because um the printer that I had previously like like it was working and then it just like I just had to baby it now um so I have to insert a sheet um one at a time and when you have to print out like 10 planners that's not like feasible so um yeah like I could not do that to insert like a hundred and something sheets like each planner I would say averages to 90 sheets like to do that every um, planner that just takes too much time so I did have to get a new printer but I can actually still use it because um, I actually use it for like the covers because it still works it's just you just need to baby it if that makes sense um, so then um, I watched SEAL team and then I had another meeting um, but I also had like I don't know I felt burnt out a little so I did take a two-hour nap after work so 
yeah, I was just very exhausted. So then I also watched 911 and I was kind of in my feelings. Um, so then for Wednesday, I finally set up my second monitor because in auditing, you need a second monitor because, or maybe a third monitor, but it's just so much information that you need to look at at the same time. And yeah, it's just hard to keep flipping back and forth on the screen. And then I was printing and cutting and then I pretty much watched a bunch of TV shows. And if you haven't noticed, I really like watching TV shows even though I should be studying. But yeah, that's like my happy place. Um, so it's like my like um, t time to relax um, moment. Um, so then I uh, on Thursday, I published week 45. Um, and then I had another meeting, um, and then I had another USPS pickup. So yeah, I usually have like multiple pickups if there's like a lot of packages because I don't have a big room and it's very hard to keep uh, like more than like 40 packages in my room. So yeah, you guys blew my expectations out of the park. Um, I was not expecting that. Um, so yeah. So thank you guys so much for your love and support. It just truly means the world to me that um, that I can create something and someone actually buys it. So it feels like an honor. Um, so yeah. And then I caught up on some TV shows and then I did some more planning time. And then for Friday, I marked down that I finally published my weekly plan with me. Um, and then I was printing planners and then I got packaged from online labels. Um, it was also Once More Love's uh, anniversary sale, and then I, at the end of the day, I actually watched a, or went to a comedy show with my cousin um, and his wife. Um, he, it was his treat, um, so we did have to drive to, like, Long Island, but um, it was quite fun um, because um, it was, like, a connection to my brother because he works at Ikea, and the um, guy that we saw, um, his name was Scott Size, and... Uh, or his name is Scott 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 Size. Oh my goodness! Um, but he talked about like he's a uh, former coworker or former worker at uh, or former employee. Oh my goodness! Former employee at IKEA. So yeah, he was talking about all the things that happened at IKEA, and um, it's just quite funny. Um, but yeah, my brother was very like happy to see him. But I don't know. I'm maybe it's just me, but I'm not really into comedy shows. But like. I don't know like there's some jokes I, I didn't understand um or like I was like um I don't understand like not really understand it but like um that's very questionable because they were just talking about dirty dirty things and I'm like oh my god like this is my first comedy show so I was just like wow they just threw it out there so yeah anyway I didn't actually plan um or film um Saturday and Sunday so I didn't really do much um or, actually I did a lot but other than going to the dog park on Sunday, but I pretty much packed orders on Saturday and actually had to run to Michael's to get some paper. Um, so I didn't know what I was doing on Saturday, but I just had to get some paper from Michael's because you guys blew me away with um, like the laminated covers because yeah, um, that was the thing that literally like, um, I ran out of so many things. I ran out of sugar paper, ran out of labels, uh, or not labels, paper, and then what else? laminate sheets oh my goodness you guys thank you thank you guys so much um, for your endless love and support it truly means the world um so that's pretty much it for this week um so yeah i did film out film the um, entire week for the following week um but this is pretty much it for now um so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time bye